three-brained beings of the whole of our great universe. Formerly, at the periods mentioned, in all the three-brained beings arising on this planet, this organ was formed with the sensibility of perceiving the mentioned blendings of separate gravity-centered vibrations of the white ray, and of distinguishing one-third of the quantity of the tonalities of color of all the tonalities obtained in the presences of the planets, as well as in all the other greater and smaller cosmic concentrations. Objective science has already accurately established that the number of separate interblendings of gravity center vibrations from the common integral vibration, namely the tonalities of color, is exactly equal to one Hultan Panas. That is to say, according to the calculations of the terrestrial three-brained beings of 5,764,801 tonalities, only a third of this total number of the blendings or tonalities, with the exception of the one tonality which is accessible only to the perception of our all-maintaining endlessness, that is to say, 1,922,600 tonalities, perceived by the beings as differences of color, can be perceived by all the ordinary beings on whatever planet of our great universe they arise. But, if the three-brained beings complete the perfecting of their highest part, their perceiving organ of visibility thereby acquires the sensibility of what is called Olues Tesnochnian Sight. Then they can already distinguish two-thirds of the total number of tonalities existing in the universe, which number, according to terrestrial calculations, amounts to 3,843,200 differences of tonality of color. And only those three-brained beings who perfect their highest being part to the state of what is called Ishmesh become able to perceive and distinguish all the mentioned number of blendings and tonalities with the exception of that one tonality which as I've already told you, is accessible to the perception only of our all-maintaining Creator. Although I intend to explain to you in detail, in the future, how and why, in the presences of the Insapalnian cosmic concentrations, every kind of definite formation acquires the property from evolving and involving processes of producing various effects upon the mentioned organ of the beings. Nevertheless, I do not consider it superfluous to touch upon this question also now. It is necessary to say, first of all, that according to the completed result of the fundamental cosmic law of the holy Heptaparaparshanoch, that is, that cosmic law which was called by the three brain beings of the planet Earth of the mentioned Babylonian period, the law of sevenfoldness. The common integral vibration, like all the already definitized cosmic formations, is formed and consists of seven what are called complexes of results, or, as it is also sometimes said, of seven classes of vibrations of those cosmic sources the arising and further action of each of which also arise and depend on seven others, which in their turn arise and depend on seven further ones, and so on right up to the first most holy, unique, seven-propertied vibration, issuing from the most holy prime source. And altogether, they compose the common integral vibration of all the sources of the actualizing of everything existing in the whole of the universe. And thanks to the transformations of these latter, they afterwards actualize in the presences of the cosmic insapalnian concentrations, the said number of the various tonalities of color. 
and as regards the details of the most holy, unique, seven-propertied vibrations. You will understand them only when, as I've already many times promised you, I shall have explained to you in detail in its proper time all about the most great fundamental laws of world creation and world maintenance. And meanwhile, concerning the given case, you ought to know that when this said common integral vibration, that is, what the terrestrial three-brained beings called the white ray, enters with its presence proper to it into the spheres of the possibilities for its transformation in the presence of an insalpalnian planet, then there proceeds also in it, just as in the case of every already definitized cosmic arising possessing the possibility of still further actualization, that cosmic process called Jartklom, that is, it itself remains as a presence, but its essence, as it were, disintegrates and produces processes for evolution and involution by the separate gravity center vibrations of its arising. And these processes are actualized thus. One of the gravity center vibrations is derived from the others and is transformed into a third, and so on. During such transformations, this said common integral vibration, that is the white ray, acts with its gravity center vibrations upon other ordinary processes proceeding nearby in intraplanetary and surplanetary arisings and decompositions. And owing to kindred vibrations, its gravity center vibrations dependently upon and in accordance with the surrounding conditions blend and become a part of the whole common presence of these definite intraplanetary or surplanetary formations in which the said processes proceed. Well then, my boy, during the periods of my descent in person to the planet Earth, I, at first, without any conscious intention on the part of my reason, and later already quite intentionally, noticed, and finally definitely constated the progressive deterioration in all of them of this being organ also, deteriorating century by century, the sensibility of perception of that organ also, namely the organ by means of which there chiefly proceeds for the presences of the three-brained beings what is called the automatic satiation of externals, which is the basis for the possibility of natural self-perfecting, has reached such a point that at the time of our fifth stay there during the period called by the contemporary beings there the period of the greatness of Babylon, that organ of theirs could perceive and distinguish the blending of the gravity center vibrations of the white ray, at most up to the third degree only of what are called its sevenfold strata, that is up to only 343 different tonalities of color. Here it is interesting to note that quite a number of the three-brained beings of the Babylonian epoch themselves already suspected the gradual deterioration of the sensibility of that organ of theirs, and certain of them even founded a new society in Babylon that started a peculiar movement among the painters of that time. This peculiar movement of the painters of that time had the following program, to find out and elucidate the truth only through the tonalities existing between white and black. And they executed all their productions exclusively utilizing only the tonalities ensuing from black up to white. When I got to know of that particular movement of painting there in Babylon, its followers were already using for their productions about 1,500 very definite shades of what is called the color gray. This new movement in painting there, among the beings who were also striving to learn the truth, at least in something, made what is called a great stir, 
and it was 